Dad. Come, 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 come. You can't see what is going on. Come, 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 come. Good girl. Okay. Good morning. Let us say hello. Hello. She's not interested. Okay, so today is so bright. I'm so glad spring is finally springing. What am I doing today? I'm going to Costco today. Let me go and find out. I bought or I registered for the Costco membership last year when we came. And to me, I don't know, it just feels like waste of money. I've been to Costco like two times since in one year. And I paid about $160 for the full membership, but I don't think it's making sense. But I think I need to like restock today. I have a lot of things I need to restock the house with. So I just felt like, okay, let me just do Costco today because I don't know. When I come back, I'll give my explanation. Costco to me feels like you just go there and you go and spend $1,000. And you come back and you just be like, is it really worth it? I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way. Let me know if you're in the UK, if you're in the USA, how it is in your location but i don't know but for me i rather shop from other places than costco costco does not come as top of mind even though i have the full yearly membership to me i just wasted money if i'm going to be renewing of course i'll renew because there are times you actually need costco i won't go the full route anymore i'll just go like maybe the silver or something so i'm going to be dropping dara look at dara She climbs this island herself. Dara. But I'm always with her anyway. I always watch her. It's not apple, it's orange, Dara. She loves citrus fruits. Okay, let's get no. This one is not something you can take. Let's get your puree. See. You don't want. You see, I bought puree for you. You don't want puree. You want. You don't want that one. I'm not in the mood for orange now. Orange means that I will cut this orange and I have to bring everything out. Take this one. You don't want. Okay, let's go. They'll give you food and you'll get here. I'll drop that. Right. I'll go and drop her first before I now head to Costco. And it's like 10 minutes to 10. <laughs> but we'll still go. We're not late. As in the crowds in this Costco. There's always crowd. There's never a day I come here. That's you just a parking space. <laughs> well, I think Costco is the most shopped grocery store. Let's say in North America worldwide. Second to none. Okay, so we are at Costco wholesale. Ah, goodness, I don't like crowd boots. Let's go. Let us go. I wanted to park there, but I was not sure if I could park there. It didn't look like it. It didn't look like somewhere I could park. And sometimes these places look like wheelchair. Look, it's okay where it parked. Guys, it's 18 degrees and it is hot. It is hot. So bright and sunny. 18 degrees, it is hot. Like, I can't believe I'll be saying this that I'm feeling hot at 18 degrees. The same about the trolleys and Walmarts. Let me grab my card. I need my membership card. to buy laundry soap. Okay, so a pack of croissants, 
my goodness. It's just that hmm, two for ten dollars ninety-nine. Which to my pecan chocolate chip muffins. Is it expiring? I love that thing this. Blueberry muffin. And just the chocolate. So bread. Where do they see the greens? Okay, here. I think I'll pick this for myself. yet i'll be going to get them it was a lot like you, you saw my trolley at some point i was like did i buy everything i hope i have money to pay for all these things but of course i calculated everything and my costco trip like i said is like once in like six months i am sure i won't be going back in a long time i don't go frequently though one of the reasons why i don't like going to costco is because some of their things expire on time especially their food but one thing i do is once i get home the ones we are not taking immediately i put them in the deep freezer and for me once i put anything in the deep freezer it's kind of like i don't know it doesn't expire anymore until when i am now ready to eat it so let me just bring everything out i couldn't film everything of course it's once it was a lot going on but what i felt i was going to do is by the time i get back home i'm going to be showing you everything i bought i spent about 355 dollars so let me know what do you think what it or not should i just abort my costco trips but i think some things actually made sense so i for me i don't buy every single thing from costco most times i don't buy produce from costco for me it's my it might be expensive with their fruits and everything i buy down from like my clothes regular grocery stores but things in bulk like laundry soap laundry, laundry detergents dishwashing all those things i will buy them from costco so let me just let me just go and grab let me go and grab everything i bought this children will be over the roof when they come back so this is what i typically do i i will show you everything i bought i have and the thing is this sizes they are good i think these things make sense the only downside is that they expire on time so anything i feel will expire i'll just put it in my deep freezer like i know this box like in two days everything is off we're going to finish it i'll put the other one in the deep freezer i'll just show you all the things i bought basically let me just stop talking 
I have two boxes of croissants here. They are huge and gigantic. These cupcakes, they are huge as well. This one was one for like, I think most times people just buy two. Two goes for like eleven dollars, so it just makes sense to buy two. But guys, this is for me. This is usually a steal. Anytime I go to Costco, I must buy this. It's sunny. Can you imagine? This thing is already melting. Look and grab the other things. I love this dish. It's like fried rice and chicken is a korean dish i always buy it anytime i go to costco very very nice packs of sweet corn i have a banana i have bone bread for burgers i have brioche hot dog rolls this is regular white bread I bought British bread as well, sliced bread. I bought seeded bread too. I have this thing like cereal, like granola. This is like snacks for the kids. This is a salad topper, like nuts to put on the salad. I love this a lot. And yeah, there's somebody else in the house that likes this as well. I have granola too. Oh, I have snack packs for my daughter. She takes all those purees and I got two boxes. Okay, so, so guys, these are some of the things, like edible things that I bought. Look at everything. So on this side, I have the non-edible stuff. I have um, laundry detergent, laundry liquid, liquid detergent for laundry. I like the one for the pods as well. There's something I've been doing ever since when I had my first child. Sometimes I use dishwashing liquid. I don't know why. My mom introduced me to it and I've been stuck. I love it so much. Especially this Pamoli brand. Sorry, I'm trying to catch my breath. It's very good. I use it for laundry. So all this is for laundry. I have something like this that I use for dishwashing as well. But I don't know. I just like... For me, I don't know. She said the pediatrician told her that you could try it and we've been using it since then one thing i forgot to buy was conditioner or the um saint what's that thing called i can't remember unstoppables i forgot to buy that i had air fresheners as well i bought some apple cider vinegar with the mother and then yes i bought a pack of grit yogurt as well and a pack of juice for the kids so I mistakenly ripped my receipt in two. So everything came to about three fifty five twenty five cents. So that's it. So guys, what do you guys think? Is Costco still worth it or not? For me, like I said, I'm in the middle. I won't go to Costco for every single thing. I know some people that go to Costco for every single thing. You don't but for me I think sometimes it might be a ripoff. I don't know. Depends on it. I shop a lot and sometimes I tend to find the prices cheaper in other places and sometimes I don't want to buy so much. I don't want to buy in bulk like bulk 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 depending on what I am buying. Some things make sense for some for some things it doesn't make sense to me. At the end of the day it depends on uh, differences whatever you like dynamics of the family and everything like that so this is my costco haul for today i'm not going to costco in over six months like i said so all this in between i'll go to my regular close by grocery stores and i'll shop thank you so much i am so tired and exhausted i'll see you in my subsequent videos if you're in canada and you're a permanent resident and you need help in any kind of way you're new in canada you just learned in canada you're a permanent resident this is something i see on my instagram very well and regularly if you need any help you're coming from the you're coming from nigeria you're new in canada i don't know everything to be honest but the little i know i try to share you can reach out to me on instagram especially i try to give out my email but to be honest that email is actually a lot i find it easier to respond via instagram so you can reach out to me on instagram my instagram handle will be displayed it is at the Tomi Adenuga, so you can reach out, whatever it is, even if I don't know, even if it's not within my power or something, I try to 
I'm fortunate or I am favored to have made acquaintances, friends, people that can help in one way or the other, depending on your province. But the reason why I'm saying PR is because most times I'm not trying to like create a bias or something, but these are the ways I can help more. So I hope you really understand and I hope you do understand. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time. I hope to see you next time again and please do come back. I'll see you in my subsequent videos. Bye.